Welcome to ArtBase 11. ArtBase 11 can manage all of your contact information and track your interactions. Contacts can include clients, vendors, artists, consigners, shippers, and more. This is the main page of your contacts file. To start, you simply enter all of your contacts information here. First name, last name, job title, company name, address, city, state, and zip code. Only put in the country if the contact is in a different country than the one you reside in. By leaving this field blank, ArtBase will know that this contact is considered domestic. Here we give you drop-down menus. We call these ease of use menus. To edit one, simply come down and select edit at the bottom of the menu. And the menu opens up for you to make a change. This is now visible for all users within ArtBase. You also can come in and type over whatever you need. For couples, we recommend that you put the person's first name in the first name field and then add the second person in the last name field. This will keep the sorting correct. When you enter a zip code, ArtBase 11 can automatically enter the appropriate city and state for you. To disable this feature, look in your settings under Contacts. Based on your selected country, ArtBase 11 can determine whether the contact is domestic or foreign. It can even show you the world region in which the contact resides. See the contact settings to choose the option you prefer. When you enter a contact's name, ArtBase 11 will automatically assign a salutation to be used when creating letters and emails. Click the three dots here, and you can change the default if you need to. Here is where you can also set the address type. If you intend to enter multiple addresses, enter the type here. For unlimited addresses, click here. There's always a blank one down the bottom and you can enter all the information here. To print an envelope for this particular contact, click the print button. To map the location, click here. And to make this the primary address, click here. If you press map here, it will open up a map of the primary address. Under Other, you will find five open use fields, which you can name in the contact settings to use. Related Contacts shows you contact records with the same company name. All phone, email, fax, and website information is entered into this portal. There's always a blank field down at the bottom. ArtBase 11 will alert you if the email address is not properly formatted with an at symbol and dot extension. If you would like to enter an image of the contact, you can simply drag an image directly here. Next, select whether this contact represents an individual or the entire company. This determines the order in which the name and company name are shown throughout the program. You can then choose the toggle to select email list or mailing list, yes or no. The default options can be chosen in the contact settings. Click here to assign this contact to various types. The list of types is completely customizable by you in the contact settings. You can also select an additional client type here. Coming to the Notes tab, you can enter as many notes as desired here. The field grows to fit your needs. Simply scroll through to see all the notes. Interest tracking has been significantly updated in ArtBase 11. You can now link a contact's interest directly to the category and genre fields in the inventory or to the artist records. The options in the category genre link are compiled from the options on the drop, drop down on the category and genre fields from the inventory.
Change the options there to start and then restart ArtBase to have this dropdown be updated. You can also enter interests that aren't on the dropdown list, but they will not link to any record. Click the plus sign to add a link to an artist and select from the artist list record. You can then click Find Related Inventory and Artbase 11 will take you to the inventory and show you a found set of the active records associated with these selected interests. I selected Photograph and it pulled up all works that are listed as photographs. The preview field is a great way to copy and paste clients' information in your default font. When importing documents such as PDFs, Word files, or high-res images into Artbase, those files can be connected in two ways. Saving documents as reference is like making a shortcut to the file. This works well as long as the file is placed in a shared document folder and the location and the name of the file are never altered. If you move a referenced file, the link will be broken. Saving as reference is useful for files that are frequently edited, such as Word files that may be updated over time but never renamed, or Excel spreadsheets shared by a group. Saving documents in Artbase is more secure. Artbase will actually copy the original document into the FileMaker files on your server. This option is best for the files that will not be altered once saved. To edit a document saved in Artbase, the document must be exported and then re-imported. Documents added to Artbase in this way will increase the size of the Artbase files. Here you can choose Import or Reference. The contact citation is used when linking this record to an inventory fact sheet provenance item. You can make changes to how the actual citation will appear on the fact sheet. The Activity tab tracks all interactions with the contact. All invoices, forms, letters, and emails are automatically added here. You can also click to add a note to track offline interactions such as meetings or phone calls. When you see the three dot icon, click to view a preview of each activity. A pencil icon means you can edit the activity without leaving the screen. As always, click the blue dot to go directly to the referred invoice, form, or correspondence record. You also at the bottom have quick links to create a new letter, email, or fax sheet cover. Be sure to watch the ArtBase 11 correspondence training video for more details. Moving to the Inventory tab, the Inventory tab compiles all the relationships each client has with the works in your inventory. What works have been invoiced to them are here. What works have been consigned from them based on the inventory source field are here. What works have this contact linked as the location are listed here. Payables owed and made to this person here and sales for which the contact was a consultant are here. On the other collection popover, you can enter works that are not in your inventory records. When appropriate, you can track the contact's resale number and the date it was last updated. Click the Totals button to see a summary of monies received and owed. Moving to the Forms tab. Check out the Forms tab to see all forms created to this contact or shipped by this contact. To make use of Artbase 11's new shipping quote features, mark the contact record as one of your top shippers here. Please be sure to check out the Artbase 11 shipping form training video for how to create quick, quote, quick quotes for your preferred shippers.
On the Offers tab, see a rundown of all offers made to this contact. Click the blue dot to, to view the offer record. Reserve show all works that have been reserved and assigned to this contact. The Source and Request tab links to all record, records for which this contact is marked as a source or request. Groups are an easy way to organize your contacts. Make groups for event in invitations, special mailings, favorite clients, and more. In earlier versions of ArtBase, groups were referred to as saved sets, but the concept is the same. Make a found set of the records you wish to link together. I'm going to find all of my New York collectors. It gives me back a found set of seven people that are marked as being in, in the New York, New York State and also as a collector. Click the blue tab to come back. Go to Groups and click Create Group. Give your group a distinct recognizable name. And now you'll be able to pull up this group of contacts anytime in the future. You can see it's now listed here. If you wish, you can even add your current found set to an existing group by using Add to Group button. If you need to look up a specific group, if the record you're on is already a member of the group, simply click the blue dot next to the link. It's going to ask me do I want to see the contacts or the details of the particular group. If you know the group number, do a find for that number. The number is located here. Or easiest of all, Click View All Groups. Use the Quick Find to narrow your set and then click on the group that you're looking for. Now we're going to examine the Actions menu. Coming up here to the Contacts menu, also called the Actions menu. To print your found set of contacts, choose the Print I print Contacts. It's going to ask you, would you like to print a compact list or a full list? A compact list includes addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses only. The full list also includes notes, interest, secondary addresses, and more. From the contacts menu, you can select to print envelopes and labels here. You can create letters, emails, and fax cover sheets. You can make or merge form letters and form emails. You can also create offers and non-art invoices. If you wish to export your contacts information, you can do so here. You can select to export the name, company, address, phone numbers, and email addresses by choosing the top option here, or just the names and email addresses here. You also have the option of doing a custom export. If you find that you have a duplicate contact record, you can merge it with the original by selecting Merge Record and following along with the Merge Wizard. At the end of the process, you have the option of deleting or keeping the original record. If you would like to add a block of text to the bottom of notes for every record in your found set, you can do so by choosing Append to Notes. Enter and highlight the text in your notes from your current record, and then select here.
Merge it with the original by selecting Merge Record and following along with the Merge Wizard. At the end of the process, you have the option of deleting or keeping the original record. Do you want to add a block of text to the bottom of your notes for every record in your found set? You can highlight from your notes section and then choose a pen to notes. It's going to ask you to confirm that you would like to add the current selection to the bottom of the notes field in all other records in the found set. If you would like to view all of your records in the table view, you can click right here. You can sort by clicking on any of the underlined field header. Sort by company, city, state, zip, country. If you click twice, it will invert the sort. Click phone to show the primary phone number and on the three blue dots to show all the phone numbers and email addresses. You can click on the blue dots on the end to see additional addresses as well. Table view can be displayed with and without contact images. For more information on contacts, don't forget to watch the contact setting training video.